I started thinking about having a breast augmentation um, after seeing changes in my body during the aging process and having two children and I really just wanted to do something for myself. I had a few preconceived ideas about this procedure through magazines, through the media. There are so many TV shows now that show this particular type of procedure, not always for the positive. And I was a little fearful as far as recovery and what the outcome would be, wanting to make sure that I still looked like myself and um, I still needed to be mom at the end of the day. So, um, but yes, uh, a lot of reading, a lot of the media had really put a little fear into this decision for me. When I went in to see Dr. Venata for my consultation, I had a lot of questions for him. He was very personable. He addressed all of my questions. I asked how he would find out what a perfect size would be for me. I had something in mind, but I wanted to make sure that, that he understood what size I wanted to be through his careful examination and measurements. Uh, just really speaking to me about what his outcome has been, how happy his patients have been, um, that helped ease my mind. And speaking to his nurse also helped with, with a lot of those fears. Dr. Venata is very straightforward and honest with you, and if you go in thinking you want to be a certain size, he will definitely listen to you, but he will also advise you what he feels is best. Um, having had children, he said I was a perfect candidate because my skin had been stretched, went from an A cup to a C cup, and felt just fine with that size. The morning of the surgery, I was a bit nervous, uh, but you do go into the facility, and it's such a warm and welcoming facility. Everyone is so nice, and um, I was just very relaxed and comfortable. Everyone speaks to you prior to that surgery, including Dr. Venata, the anesthesiologist. They get you very comfortable, and um, from that point on, I just remember waking up in the recovery area. In our office and in our surgery center, we are very careful to select people that really like working with other people and that feel good about what they're doing. And I think that shows. I think the experience that our patients have uh, really reflects that. And he also wants you to do exercises, which are somewhat modified jumping jacks. He wants you to bring your arms up over your head and have your outside of your hands touch. And I felt that this movement did help. Um, it didn't, you didn't tighten up. You weren't as sore as you might be if you slept all day. And that, I did that every hour. I did actually get in the shower. He wants you getting in the shower, washing your hair. And I did go on to dinner with my husband that evening. It was a quick dinner, but we did actually get out. And um, I just remember coming home and uh, going to bed. He wants you to stay up till 10 o'clock the best you can. I took another ibuprofen before I went to bed and woke up just fine the next morning. The next morning I was still a little sore, but once I started those arm movements again, it helped tremendously. This technique is 180 degrees opposite of the old way of doing things. I mean, people used to be bound up and told not to lift their arms above here and, and uh, take it easy. And we're telling them just the opposite. Get up, get going, and stretch the muscle, and it makes all the difference in the world. The hardest thing about the recovery program was at one point before you go to bed, you are to lay on the bed on your chest and lie, lie there for 15 minutes. That was probably the only thing that, that I didn't care to do, but I know it was helping me in the long run. It's nice to find a surgeon that, that is patient focused and has the patient's needs in mind. He cared enough about the recovery to make it very minimal for, for his patients and comfortable for his patients. And I believe with that process, He's made so many women happy that they will actually go out and tell their friends and tell their family. Um, but he is a very caring and patient-driven surgeon and listens to the feedback as well. After having surgery and recovering, I have been so happy with the results. I no longer have to take suits to the tailors. Um, I'm filling out jackets and shirts the way that I should and I am feeling like my body is where I want it to be. 
Uh, every day these women get out of the shower, stand in front of that mirror, and just feel good about the way they look and the way they look in clothes. That self-esteem is invaluable, and I'm happy that I can participate in that.